tell you a little bit more about Google App Sheet. It's a Google product and it allows you to make your own app with no code. In this video, I'm going to share with you some basic information about what is Google App Sheet and how to get started. You can get started with Google App Sheet by going to appsheet.com and logging in. You actually do not need a Google account to use AppSheet, so we'll give you multiple login options. For your school account, AppSheet might not be enabled. Ask your Google Workspace Administrator to enable it for teachers and staff. There are two ways to use AppSheet, either by going directly to appsheet.com or by starting with a Google Sheet spreadsheet and you use the extensions menu to turn your spreadsheet into an app. Now you see I already have a Google Sheet spreadsheet that I've already set up with some basic information. I have a sheet with my students and I have locations that they might go if I were to use an app for a hall pass monitor. And then I want to record when they went and what time they came back. So now that I have this table in my Google Sheet spreadsheet already started, I can simply come to the extensions menu and choose App Sheet to create an app. Extensions App Sheet Create an App is going to redirect you to appsheet.com. If you've already authorized App Sheet, it's going to take you into a default app that it thinks you might want to use. This is fully customizable, but it gets you started right away. Here on the right, you can see a preview of the app that has been created. Now when I drill down on here, you'll see that I'm able to see the whole row of information for that table, but it only has the student's table in here. So I'm going to come over to the left to where it says data and I'm going to add new data and what I want to do is add the spreadsheet, I'll pass. I'm going to add the other sheets that are in that spreadsheet. So I'm here on the data table on the left hand side and so I have the location, students, and trips table. But I have them connected in some way so one of the things I need to do is to figure out which columns on one table refer to columns in another table. So I'm looking here on trips and I know that this location is referring to the locations table. So I come to the right and you can see that AppSheet was already smart enough to know that this refers to another table. But when I look at student ID, that's still saying number. I actually want that to refer to the students table. So I'm going to change that from number to ref. And then I'm going to be able to say what is my source table. My source table is students and I can hit done up here at the top. Now I did hit save. You can see that the save button is now grayed out and I'm going to look at my sample app here on the side. Now when I click on a student, you can now see that it says related trips because I have referred to the locations, the trips that the students have taken. Now in my app, I just have this one view for the list of students and I can actually add new students right here, right in my app and it's going to add it to my spreadsheet. But what I really want to do is add that a student went to the restroom or to the office. So I'm going to come over here to the left and I'm going to go to views and I'm going to create another view. So you can see here where it lists out the views as primary navigation, menu navigation, and reference view. Primary navigation is going to be shown down here at the bottom. Menu navigation is going to be in the menu, whereas reference views are only shown when you have an action that takes them intentionally to that view. So you need to decide what you want to have shown when someone opens the app. I actually don't need to have the students as my first view. What I want to see is where I'm inputting where the students are traveling to and I do want that in the primary navigation. 
So I'm actually gonna go to more, and I'm gonna move this to the menu navigation, because I do wanna drill down on the students, but I don't need that to be the first thing I see when I come into the app. Now under primary navigation, I'm gonna add a view, and I am going to add a trip. And in this view, I'm gonna name the view, and my view is gonna be trips, and it's for the data in locations. And then I can choose how I wanna have the card, how I can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and just list those in a table so I can see those in there. So I can design, there's all of these options for how you'd wanna design the look and view of that data table. So I'm here on the Views tab. I am under Trips, which I've put under Primary Navigation, and I'm linking to the data table Trips. And you can see my app is all ready to go for me to add new things on here. Oops, it's showing Trips. Add, and I wanna do my Trip ID, and I have a timestamp that it defaults to now. And when I go to Student ID, it even lets me choose which student is going, and I'm gonna to wanna to update that so it doesn't show the location ID, but it does have that with me there. And then I have some buttons where I can say whether or not they've returned and what the return time is. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So we're gonna to need to keep working on this view a little bit, but you can see how quickly and easily I can go from a spreadsheet to having an app where I can update the information. And by the way, all that data I update goes back to the spreadsheet. That is where it is stored. So let's take a quick look at our app that we have so far. I'm gonna click here to pop out to another tab so I can see what this looks like. You can see here it's going to the trips table to start off that I can see for each student who's gone to the bathroom. I can add someone going to the restroom save, and then I can come up here to the menu and I can break it down by students. So I can go look at that student's view and I can see a table where each of the students have gone and where they've gone, and that was automatic. And I'm able to also go back and I can add more students right in here in the app, or I can do it over in the spreadsheet. Now I did make a few small changes just to help make the app look a little bit nicer. One of the things you'll notice before is that it had the location ID instead of the location of office and library. So the way I fixed that is here on the data table, I went to locations and I found those, the location ID and the location, and I changed the label from being the location ID to the location so that that is what's shown, the label is what's shown in the app, so that helped. And then over here on views, if I'm on the trips, which is again in the primary navigation as opposed to the students table, which is up there in the menu navigation, I went down and I selected to sort it by timestamp and also to group it by student so I could see it by student. So now I'm in this app, so I'm actually able to add a student going to the bathroom, right? So I'm gonna be able to choose which student it is and choose where they are going. And by default, I have it set to false and no return time. But then I was able to add an action. Do you see this clock that shows up? This little icon that shows on the app. So when I'm over here in actions, this is an action on the trips, and I was able to set it so it would set the return time and the return. So when I click on this little action icon right here, that's the one I just made, remember? So when I click on it, I can now see that it was set to yes, they returned and the current timestamp, which was really cool to be able to do. And so last, if I go to the students table and I drill down, I'm gonna come down here to Marcus, I can see Marcus's information and also all of the times that they've taken a trip out of my class. So I hope this was a helpful quick get started with Google AppSheet.